Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. So this week I'm just taking you with me on a general what my life is like as a as a, a wannabe full-time artist. I'm not a full-time artist yet. Um, most of my time is spent either making art or on art related things like going to events and um, having my work in the pop-up shop and at exhibitions and things like that. But the thing that makes an artist a full-time artist is actually making their living from their art, whether that be selling their art or a combination of teaching and selling their art or how else can you make selling things on, selling prints and, and you know anything art related like that. So. I still have a way to go but I'm getting there and I hope that it will be able to be my full-time occupation because I really really love doing it not just the painting but I really really love all the experimentation with inks plant inks and pigments and I feel like I'm really at the beginning of my pigment making journey still even though I've been doing it for two years there's such a lot to learn and I think that I have a lot more fun to experience yet. So I just thought I'd take you along with me for a few things that I've had to do this week just so you can see what goes on in an artist's life really and what I'm working on and a couple of the things that I have to do and what it takes behind the scenes for artists. It's not all about doing the painting. I was having a very enjoyable discussion with a fellow artist at the studios yesterday and we were saying the same things. Um, he was saying he wants to be a full-time artist as well but he didn't realise just how much other types of work that would involve other than actually doing art such as ordering prints and doing photo editing for your prints, getting your work photographed and then if you're just a solo business uh, like we are then it's all the things like packaging the prints yourselves and sometimes you have to order the mounts separately so then you have to mount your prints and then you have to take them to the post office and get them posted and with the art as well for somebody like me that is working very much in trying to be as sustainable as I can in my practice I don't tend to get my art framed by another framer, I tend to buy my own frames and frame it myself which is then more work because sometimes I have, because I have to buy the frames from charity shops so there's looking for the frames and then there's the taking the existing pictures out, sometimes they're quite old and they've got a lot of old tape that needs to be removed, sometimes the frames are dirty so I need to give the glass a good clean, the frames are clean and sometimes there's a little bit of damage to the frames. I tend to avoid buying frames that have a lot of damage or are particularly stained or the glass cracked or anything like that. But sometimes you get a piece home and you find that there's a bit of a crack in the glass and you can't use it. It's just how it is. <laughs> but you can always save the frame. I don't throw the frames away, I save them because they might get another piece of glass that fits in that, you never know. So anyway enjoy this video and do let me know below if you like it and please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and more of me creating artworks and all of the various things that I do that are trying to promote conscious art and more sustainable art practice. So I've just arrived at Peak Village where it's my shift for the day to man the pop-up shop the Derbyshire makers and um, just arrived so nobody's here yet I'm just having a look around the space it's a really really lovely space lovely couple of cafes here so we're just walking towards my little section where I have some artwork and some my little bottles and some prints and everything else in here is made by members of the Derbyshire makers so it's all locally produced So this is where I am going to be spending today. I just have to see 
how it goes sales wise hopefully it'll be a good day i've already sold quite a few things so that's good um we'll just see what the day brings back at the studio today four flights of stairs oh, always does me in but it's a beautiful day but it's really warm in here today so we're going to get on with some work my little space and this is what I've been working on so far I did quite a little bit to this last week got this one back last week as well which is good and today I'm just going to work on packing up some prints my hair is still wet so just apologize <laughs> I've got to pack up some prints to some to take to the pop-up shop for the dog she makers next week and some that somebody ordered somebody bought so I've got to pack those three up and uh, then we're gonna have to go to the post office and post them and uh, there is a post office in this village actually but I prefer the other one which is only a couple of miles away so I'm gonna go to that one and you'll see why when I show you later These are the prints that I've got to, I ordered the frames and the mounts separately and so I just have to stick them on in the frames and then uh, package them all together. So let's get on and do that. So I had to walk to the post office from the car park, which is quite uh, about a mile or so up the road because there was nowhere to park around here. But it's a really, really beautiful little village and I love this post office with this lake. So now I just have to walk all the way back. is literally just off the main road and it goes off into the woods these used to be old mill workings
go up into the woods.